Hey there, future engineers, roboticists, roboticists, scientists, mathematicians. How are you doing? I'm good. Hey, uh, this is Damon Padgett, and I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about uh, Lego Robotics. Um, we're, I know you guys uh, know about my upcoming summer camp, uh, TRS Robotics Summer Camp, and we will be using this, the Lego, Lego NX, Mindstorms NXT kits. So um, today, I just wanted to kind of give you guys a little insight or talk to you guys a little bit about a project that I'm working on. Um, basically, it's uh, using the uh, ultrasonic rangefinder, which is included with the kit, uh, for object detection. So what we're going to do right here, how many guys have ever seen or heard of what's called LiDAR? Well, LiDAR is basically uh, similar, very similar to radar, except for it uses uh, light, it uses lasers to uh, detect objects. And so if you've ever seen a LiDAR system, which looks a lot like a little, I don't know, it looks a lot like you just see a little box and it's got a mirror in there. It's kind of, it looks similar to the little things that you see at the supermarket in the checkout, where you look in the, if you go to the self-checkout, you have the little glass that you look through and then you see that there's a mirror in there and it's like, it may be shaking or moving really fast. Similar to that, because basically what that's doing is it's scanning and then when you hold your UP, you hold your item with your UPC code on it, the little barcode on the back of it, it scans the barcode and, and that um, rings up a certain price. So, this is similar, except for it uses, instead of using light, it uses sound. It's the ultrasonic range module. And it, ultrasonic means that um, it's very, very high in frequency. So high, in fact, that the human ear can't detect it. So, it's outside of our audible range. So, what I'm going to do right here, I'm going to change the camera views real quick. All right, change camera views, and now you can see it from top down. Um, so, like I said, this is the Lego uh, robotics kit. Basically, you have a microprocessor unit right here. Um, you have motors. These are actually called servo motors. These, um, this one right here, this one right here, and this one right here. These are servo motors, um, and the only difference between servo motors and regular motors is that servo motors track their position and can hold the position, whereas a motor just goes one direction. It just spins one direction or another. So anyways, and here's the ultrasonic range finder. So to make it similar to the LiDAR systems that I've seen, um, I wanted this to move. So um, I created a little mount or post on here or that allows it to swivel back and forth. And I'm using uh, a motor, one of the three uh, servo motors. I'm using one of the three servo motors to actually actuate it or to cause it to spin back and forth. So I'm going to turn this on so you can actually guys so you guys can actually see the motion that happens. <clears throat> and then I'll try to go in I'll try to go in and give a little brief explanation of how and why it works. Okay. So I turn it on and you see you got the little thing spinning over there on the uh, right hand side it looks like and then you got the little uh, another little thing on there and it causes it to go back and forth which is exactly what I want. So let me just kind of briefly explain this. So you have the motor here. You have the motor here on the bottom. And then you have this little uh, 90 degree gearbox. So basically you have this uh, gear right here is connected to um, this little black gear right here, which is connected to a shaft, which has these two uh, look, pedal looking like things on there, which uh, they're called cams, or they're operating as cams. And a cam is basically like an elliptical, um, a non-circular round thing. I don't know. Uh, cam cams are, are found in a lot of places, but we'll go into that in more depth. They're found in the engine of the car. They're found all over the place. But you normally use a cam when you want to create what's called oscillatory motion or oscillating motion. Okay. And so right here, this little bar, this little lever, this piece of Lego right here is operating as what's called a cam follower. And so what cam followers do is they ride upon the edge of a cam. So the way this works is when the motor rotates the two cams, the cam follower rides along the edge. And because of the shape of the cams, it produces a certain particular oscillating motion, uh, repetitive motion. Oscillating simply means back and forth, I suppose. Um, so it, it produces a back and forth motion. Um, to the cam follower and the cam follower is connected to this same axle which has the ultrasonic range module on it Oops. 
has the ultrasonic range module on it, and it also has for tension, it has a little rubber band. Hopefully this um, is clear in the video. So you see right here, I have I put a little rubber band on here, and it keeps the tension and it keeps tension on the whole assembly, which actually serves to keep the cam cam follower engaged to the cams. So because of the rubber band, the cam follower is is pressed up against the cam follower is pressed up against the cams. So therefore, when the cams start to move, it causes the oscillate oscillating motion, the oscillatory motion. So in a nutshell, that's it. Um, basically. Oh, and you ask why would I want to do this, or why do they do this in LiDAR, or why would I want to do this with this ultrasonic range model? Well, I could just mount it on there and it'd be straight. You know, I could mount it on there rigidly, and so when the robot's driving, uh, basically it sees whatever is in front of it. So if there's an object, say my hand is an object and it's coming along, come on, it sees that object, um, it stops or does whatever I program it to do. Now, if I put this object a little bit to the left or to the right of it, and it's and it's it's a rigid is the ultrasonic range module rigidly mounted on there then it may go straight forward keep going forward and maybe not see the object right there and actually could run into it on the side or something like that so the reason why you have the oscillatory motion is so that the ultrasonic range module actually scans a little bit to the right and a little bit to the left giving the robot a, a, a greater heads up without the robot having to turn its whole body a greater heads up of what's of where objects are in front of it. So, for instance, if the 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 ultrasonic range model is scanning left and right, scanning left and right, and we're approaching, and there's an object right here, well, it's going to pick this up. It's going to pick that up without the robot actually having to turn its whole body. And so, when the robot sees this there, the robot can make an adjustment and actually um, change its path so that it goes past. So that that's kind of the simple way. There's other ways to do obstacle obstacle avoidance. But this is just one of many. Um, this is the benefits of this is that it doesn't have to, or benefits of using the ultrasonic range finder in the first place is that you don't actually have to come in contact with a surface to uh, know that it's there. And then the, the added benefit of making it oscillatory or oscillating back and forth is that you can cover a wider area in front of the robot so that you can make, um, you can find out which way to go or find out which path is clear uh, easier or quicker without having to actually have the robot stop and then scan back and forth like this. The robot can continue going straight while the, while the ultrasonic sensor is scanning back and forth and then make path corrections accordingly. So anyways, I just wanted to kind of give you, I wanted to touch base on that a little bit, talk to you a little bit about the ultrasonic range finder. Um, I hope you found that enjoyable. Uh, don't forget to uh, sign up for the uh, TRS Robotics Summer Camp. Open registration starts on the 29th, Monday the 29th. Uh, just visit the site uh, trsrobotics.blogspot.com uh, for more news and events and to register. So I hope to see you guys at the summer camp. Until then, see you later. Go build something. <laughs>